Hello everybody, it's Diane from Tandard Edges Design with her little collage book once again and she's dropping things. And so here are the images for today. They're scrap of paper. And I mainly pulled this one just because I thought it was cute. And it reminds me of, I was going to look it up and I forgot. There's a child, old child's book about a goose or a white duck. I forget what it was. <laughs> um, I should have looked it up. I think it was called Petunia. Anyway, it makes me think of that. Whether I'm right or not, I don't know. But it makes me think of that. And then I just pulled this because the colors matched. It, had, it wasn't on the same paper or anything. So there. Uh, what I'm going to do now... I got some other papers that kind of sort of match. It's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I just pulled some papers I thought might match, and that's it. I don't know. And I just got up. I'm not awake yet. Yeah, speaking of stuff like that, I'll just make a footnote because no one knows what I'm talking about. My glue book session, the last one I had. I was talking about this bear scrap of paper, and I was saying how I had two bears, and they were off different papers, and blah, blah, blah. No, they were from the same paper. And <laughs> just, this is an envelope, a scary envelope. So just to, you know, totally prove I don't know what I'm talking about there. However, in my defense, and to drag this out into a really boring story that nobody wants to hear, um... I did have two of those papers, kind of forgetting it was the same paper, but it, I had two of them, so I think that's where I was getting the, it was from different papers thing. So there, that's my little update for today. And the Diane doesn't know what she's talking about, but she kind of has a reason department. That almost matches too well. And we'll, we'll think about that. Yeah, I don't know. Do we need maybe a little text? I really wasn't going to go the text route. You know, I just grabbed a contemporary magazine to get contemporary text. Um, let's find something I don't want the back of. Because I don't know. I just didn't think it lent itself to text. But I don't know what else to do with it. Let's see. Yeah, it, it might do something. Let's even this up. I suppose if it reminds me of that child's book, maybe text is okay. And yeah, this is seeping through another page there. So I, I'll try to cover it. If I can't, I might hit it with a little gesso. Yeah. No, that's okay. Hmm. I don't know. This isn't turning out to be terribly interesting, is it? Well, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, it's an owl. Getting that? I didn't. Even... I don't know. That kind of. It's it's the colors match and everything, but I, the style does not go. We'll save that for something else. Okay. Well, is something on this side that's. It's just caught my eye because of like this color. Would it be weird to have vintage text and contemporary text? Um, not necessarily. I'm, I think it depends on what else I'm going to put on this side, which at this point I don't know. Yeah, this one I. I said I just woke up, so this is going to be, you know, more difficult than necessary. That's all right. All right, well, we're leaving that for this exact second in time, but we'll see. 
Actually, that's kind of, is that interesting? It's the same, it's just different color. Is that, it's black, but it's got a little yet, very pale yellow in there. Maybe have that on the other page? Let's try that. Yeah, actually, I kind of like that, although it's a little repetitive with these squares. I mean, you know. How many squares do you have to have on a paper, right? We might find out, because this technically is sort of that same shape, too. All right. All right, go do something about that, because I don't know. I did pull a washi tape just for the colors, and I should have found the end before I... here. Good. Actually, that's kind of fun. All right, we'll think about that. But yeah, we need more, more something. Maybe another bird over here. That's an idea. Although I don't think any more duck geese, whatever they are. All right, let me pause and root around in my bird paper. Okay, I will come back in a minute. All right, we've got a little bird here. And just, you know, for a matter of conversation and art, what would, this is the paper, what would you have chosen? Because my first thought was, oh, they have, there's orange. And then I went, oh, well, this gold kind of matches. I kind of like the way he's looking. But then I went, oh, well, that, I like that. It's sort of a little more neutral and blendy. So I don't know. I guess either would have been fine or all or something. Maybe I'll even take another one. I don't know. But anyway, I just sort of threw it on there. And, you know, it still is needing something, this white background, although it matches well. It's just way too nothingness for me anyway. So I grabbed some paint, and I grabbed my palette, and then apparently I set it aside and didn't bring it with me. So we're back to mixing color on a, a gesso container. Because I was kind of thinking of going for this gold color. I think... The orange is going to be too bold, too dark. And let's see if I can set this aside so I remember how I had it. All right, and I was kind of thinking of maybe more just like the edges, not so much the whole thing. I don't know. Oh, well, we need this color for gonna match it, right? And I don't know. Yellow and what? And we're going to need more than that. Yeah, I grabbed the palette and I set it down to get more paint and apparently my brain, you know, didn't go. Get the palette. A little bit of this and a tad of blue. And I've got a really dumb water container over here. It's very small. I forgot to bring up the big water container, too. <laughs> it's the Diane Forgot episode. All right. All right, a tan of blue. I don't know. Maybe I should have brought up purple. I don't know. I thought of that as I was walking away. I did think of that as I was walking away, but I thought, well, I got blue. That's probably okay. And I got a really gross watercolor here. <laughs> Get that off camera as much as you can. That's ucky. Ucky. All right, more yellow though. I'm going to way too much trouble for this, right? Yeah, it's getting there. It's a little green. I should put a tad more of that brown in there. That might work. Actually, it kind of matches the um, bill and feet color there. Actually, that's pretty good. It's just, it's a tad uh, dark. It's not bad. 
Yeah, it's just a tad dark. Well, I'm going to hit it with a little gesso or a little yellow. Let's try gesso. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. It probably won't be enough, right? If you ever do that, mix like the perfect color. Uh, you know, I'll never do it again, and it's not enough. And we're coming to the end of the first signature here. It's only the back of this page, is it? Well, is that enough? Because like I said, I didn't want it covered. Completely, I mean. Well, let's get an idea. Yeah, that's probably okay. It's obviously kind of sketchy looking. until I mix more. This is as good as it's going to get right now. All right, well, it's not that heavy. Let it dry for a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. How are the kids? It's just not bad. All right, and I don't think we need this at the moment either. Let me cap the blue. All right. I should have put some over the text, right? Where is our bird? Here. Come back. Yeah, I think that's that's good. It's better than the white. Can pull up any more of this. Barely. All right, I think that's adequate. All right, I'm gonna pause, clean the gesso top, get rid of this icky water, let it dry for a minute or two, and then glue down what we see, and I will come back. All right, the bird is not glued, but everything else is. I put washi tape up and down here. And, you know, it still is, to me, too boring. Needs something, so I thought, well, word, sentence, so I went through my little envelope there. I pulled all the fun just because of the color. That's not bad. I pulled greet the day just because, like I said, this is early in the morning. And then I pulled wisdom because, and if any of you ever heard the expression, you know, so-and-so didn't have the sense God gave a goose. I thought that was kind of funny. But, it's a little short. Well, what about greet the day? But that still leaves nothing over there. Come here, garbage can. And I don't really want the period on there, but I'm going to have to cut the wide and angle then. So maybe we'll leave it. I suppose technically that is a sentence, isn't it? All right. And then our little blue, you know, seep through thing there did not get covered either. I don't know what we're going to do about that. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, maybe that needs a little of this behind it. better. Okay. So 
So at this point, I have yet to put up one of these videos, so I have no idea if I'm getting much, you know, viewership or anything to continue them, but I guess that's what I'm doing, so I'll continue. I do have an idea for a journal coming up here, but um, I haven't pulled pages or anything yet. So I may do one of those sessions as a video, she's trying to say as she's thinking, where do I want that bird? All right, what about the right side here though? Got any great ideas for someone who's not quite awake yet? Actually, that's kind of nice. I think we need some border though or something or inking. Let's get rid of these so we don't get confused. All right. Yeah, it's, this side is pretty adequate. Like I said, it needs something though. But this, this is boring. This is boring me. Um, I don't know. I think if it's, you know, just say a flower or a something, is that going to detract from the birds here because they are a little uh, small? But if it's just a color blob, is that to nothingness? I don't know. I'm reaching up for washi tape that's stuck to another washi tape. Come here. Actually, something like that's okay. I don't know if I'm thrilled with that color. Or a, maybe a fabric or a ribbon or something would be better. Here, just a sec. In the drawer, right behind me. My little ribbon snippety bag. Oh, what about this wide rickrack? Well, that's sort of fun. I don't know if it's, um, with those, it's too much. I don't know. Can you have too much in one of these little journals? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's too much. It's a yellow gingham. would come out. Thank you. Well, it matches. Um, <laughs> other than that, I don't know what to do with it. What should I do with it? I don't know. Wait, let me get my larger fabric scissors here. I, and I know this fabric doesn't tear. I don't know why. It's just a cotton. I don't know. Well, all right, let's see how weird this is. If we go like this, and it does cover the top of that. Not that it has to be covered, but it's a consideration there. And then go like that. That kind of draw that back to this side. It's okay. I, you know, I don't know how long I want to deliberate with it. It's good enough. Let me pull a few of these threads here on the edge. Edges. I'm dropping them on the book. No. All right. Does that fit? Yeah. All right. But you. Well, one side straight would be nice. Okay. I held it over the garbage can and it stuck on the scissors and now that little edge is over there. That's helpful. Yeah, it's, you know, it's fine. Okay. 
let's glue and then see what we think. Of course, it's going to be hard to tell with the purple glue stick showing through for a few minutes here. Yeah, that looks real good, Diane. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> It'll dry clear, don't, don't panic. This fabric's awfully thin. I didn't want to wet glue the whole thing. It might show through even when it's dry. All right. Well, if you can get off the ucky purple effect, that's pretty nice. All right. Let's um, do something about a border. That might uh, change opinions here. All right. This stuff, let's set aside for a minute. Well, do I want just, you know, a, uh, a simple line, kind of, I'm not going to crosshatch it, but since that's what that is, yeah, I could do a couple, a few of them together, maybe. if I want it all the way on the edge or just in here. Maybe all the way on the edge. Since the edge is there, it's... Alright, that's definitely getting there. These kind of borders are nice too. No ruler. No, it doesn't matter how crooked you get. And in the right context, they look good. All right, I think that's pretty good. Um, is it done? Well, one, let's see if we can't get rid of this little blue blob. It's it's not terrible. I mean, I could live with it if it was some sort of permanent thing, but since I think I can get rid of it, I'm going to get rid of it. All right, we'll see if I want to you know, go back with that gold color again when it's dry. All right. Um, do we still want the Rick Rack? Let's address that. And here's a question. How do you spell Rick Rack? Okay, am I wrong? Years ago, wasn't it R-I-C-A-R-A-C? -A -A and lately I see it R-I-C-K, you know, Boy, there's a question for the ages. Diane's thought-provoking channel. How do you spell Rick Rack? I mean, I know how to spell it. I just meant you personally. Well, that kind of adds um, dimension, if you will. I'll tell you what. Since this purple glue stick is still showing through, it's kind of hard to tell. Let me pause and let this stuff dry. I'll trim the edges, and then we'll give it a final assessment there. Okay? Hang on. Okay. I think I'm done. And the final assessment was a few things. One, I did add a little rickrack here. Two, I carried the border across the text down here. I think that's very helpful. Three... I went in with a little of this brown color because you could still see that blue dot a little bit. So that obviously was darker and I, I was just going to kind of mix, you know, this gold color on the paper. But I, actually, I kind of liked it and I thought, is that, you know, there's not enough dark? Is that something lacking? So I spotted that around and actually I really like it under there. 
And then with this yellow down here, which is pretty bright, really, my brain went, well, now you need more yellow around somewhere. So we threw in a little, which is still wet, yellow. And I think that's all I did. But yeah, those were the finishing touches, in my opinion. So there, take a look at that. I'm going to put a paper in here because I'm going to turn it. Um, I did do two pages without you. I know, shame on me. Uh, this one, I'm not totally sure if this side is done. If I want a border or something, or even just a line, this line. Yeah, actually, let's try that. Um, let me get my larger marker here, wider. I did that one yesterday. And I was going to revisit it today, so here we are revisiting. And yeah, this is going to be a little tricky with the divot there with the page. So it's fine, except it's sort of spreading. I guess I'm going all the way across. I hope it didn't go through. It probably went through, right? Yeah, okay, that's definitely better. Do I want it to come down a little bit? Yeah. I could draw an arrow on it. Maybe I'll do that, but I don't think I'm going to use this because it seems like it's getting blobby. Where is there? Just grab a pen. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Well, here. Yeah, that's better. All right. Okay, yeah, I like that better. Okay, so anyway, this was a um, old, old uh, needle calls needlework I think but some sort of needle magazine you know needlework magazine and I forget what it was I mean it's embroidery but what they intended you to put it on and so there's an old index card behind there that had some knitting instructions on it little tissue paper little pattern tissue paper and the stars there were from this and then the waves I carried over here with just a marker and it's just old book magazine more of the tissue paper, magazine, scrapbook paper, and this is a new uh, vellum sticker. And then I did um, a stencil ink in there, and it came out a little blurry. I don't know if it's that dumb dauber I'm using, or I moved it, I don't know. But anyway, it was a tad blurry, and, it, and so I kind of went over the whole thing to kind of fade it out, which is fine, because I didn't, it was too much white there with all this. So okay, there's the hat. And then I did another one yet. It's very kind of different. I was just noodling around with stuff out of my leftover box over there. I had this cut out out of a magazine, scrap of paper. It's an old Japanese stamp. Well, I don't know how old, but scrap of paper. It's obviously off on the calls magazine from years ago. This top cloud swirly thing was from an old child's activity book. It's part of the cover. Scrap of paper, scrap of paper. These stars came with Mary here and the blue uh, stars I just drew with a marker. But the Mary Poppins image there is a scan of a book cover that I actually have. And it just, just to make a long story short, I've had that book since I was a kid. And I was talking to a friend of mine about it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, I don't have it anymore. I, I, I mean, I had it into adulthood, but I got rid of it, you know, a few years ago, blah, blah. 
Well, no, I didn't. I came across it like a couple weeks after I was talking about it. And I was like, oh, I still have it. That was, you know, so that was kind of funny. So anyway, I scanned the cover. So there. Okay, guys, so we're up to the last page in this signature, which I guess I would do more as a single collage. And then we have this some brainy person put in here. So I don't know if I'm just going to ignore that, cover it, use it, you know, put little animals in there or birds on the branch or something. I don't know. So you can think about that till the next video and see what I came up with. Okay. Thanks for watching and have a really nice day out there.